Welcome to Small Steps. My name is Seth Potts and I want to show you how to calculate the correlation between two data sets. So uh, comparing two data sets um, is going to give you anything between a negative one and a positive one as a result using this function. Um, negative one being a perfect negative correlation and a positive one being a perfect positive correlation. And anything getting down towards zero it means it's uh, not as related, so the, the relationship's not strong between them. Um, there are multiple ways to use uh, this correlation uh, function, multiple things you can look at. One is going to be, um, kind of like I did in the last video, was about making predictions with that for, uh, forecast function uh, in a crime series, trying to pr make a prediction using two sets of data um, as what you're going off of to make that guess. Um, I also have examples where, um, say you're like directing patrol trying to get crime down in a certain area. Um, maybe auto burglaries are high in a neighborhood and you're um, directing your patrol to spend more time there to see if you can decrease those incidents. You can take a look at those results and see if um, your efforts are worthwhile or not there. Um, actually, the last time I did this was uh, getting some numbers from our mental health co-responder program to see if the number of co-responders um, related, you know, if it was uh, highly related with the number of um, incidents with mental health individuals uh, being diverted from a hospital. So making a, a better impact where they're not just taking them to the hospital, but they're actually getting them some more specific help or um, just being able to talk to them and leave them there. So, um, and that had actually really good results, so that helped um, with their articulation of, of um, wanting to get more co-responders. They could show the relationship between um, their success and the number of co-responders they've had. So um, you can kind of spread it however, wh whatever your situation is, if you're trying to compare the data. Um, this is a very, very simple function to do that. So uh, we'll dig in here. The first uh, example I have is going to be just that robbery series. So I just have the uh, dates they occurred, the amounts are stolen. So we're looking to basically compare the days between incidents and the amount stolen. We're wanting to see how how much it is related um, for the time between and the, and the amount. Just a quick look at this. I, this is I've set this up to be a perfect scenario. Um, you can just tell uh, it's one day for every hundred dollars stolen. So knowing that this is going to be a, a positive correlation um, when the amount goes up the days between go up so they're both trending going the same way um, so the function the way it works um, it's just correlation just coral portion of that and then um, the two arguments are the two different arrays the two different sets you are comparing so um, that's the first, we're the days between, and we're comparing that to the amount stolen, see how related those are. And like I said, they're set up perfectly. That is a perfect positive correlation. I could change anything up here and just even slightly, you see it's no longer perfect, but at 0.98 is still an excellent, excellent correlation. So yes, if I had something like this, I would say they are most definitely related. Um, something this high would be pretty incredible. Um, to get but <clears throat> going to this other one here this is going to be our example for a negative correlation so uh, kind of like I mentioned say you have some auto bergs in a neighborhood and you're spending more time there and you're wanting to see if your efforts are paying off if uh, additional time spent is leading to lowered incidents um, kind of like the last one I had to set up perfectly where for every additional one hour the instances are going down. So this will be a, a per perfect negative correlation. So the same function, same arguments. And we'll get our results. Here is a perfect negative one. So uh, if you saw something like this, you say, yeah, it's a uh, hundred percent. Our efforts are definitely paying off and um, we should definitely continue doing that um, until they're down. Um, but just like the last one, if I ch if I change these up a little, um, you know, the more they the more they uh, spread out, and let's see if actually if I change this last one to a six. So at that point, if the incidents were just kind of up and down, and this is our 
our uh, <laughs> correlation is negative 0.25, I would say no, nah, it's not a very good, not a very good correlation. So maybe maybe just spending time in that area is not good enough. Um, let's go on to you know try something else. So um, like I said. What, what they're uses for making predictions or just checking in to see if, uh, you know, the relation to, to the effort you're putting in in something like a direct to patrol or um, even, like say, the co-responder programs, things like that. You can you can take a quick look with this uh, simple function to see how well those numbers are related. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, click like and subscribe. The next video coming up is going to be how to reference the last cell in a column with data that continually updates.